Today, 100 years ago, March 15th of 1918, Lily Boulanger died. 
I know you would say who? But I played for you first her music or of her music, this Pie Yesu, which she composed on her deathbed by dictating it to her six years older sister at the time, Lily, was Nadia, my teacher. And Nadia Boulanger notated this and had it performed for a memorial mass in the memory of her sister every March 15th thereafter at the Trinity Church in Paris with an orchestration for string quartet harp and voice which I hear sort of reduced on the piano for you and um, though she was 24 she seems to already have been and wise and angelic while suffering from disease on earth but uh, writing a lot of spiritual music, uh, psalms for her orchestra and choir, choirs with piano, <clears throat> some theme and variation piano pieces, a few, not many, but each of them deeply inspired and profoundly uplifting. And this Piesu, written in March, well, dictated in March of uh, 1918, while World War I was still, unfortunately, for a fourth year, still going on very strongly, it will only end with the armistice in November, November 18th, uh, uh, sorry, 11th of 1918. This is March 15th, and she's 24. And um, they say she had Crohn's disease and she was bedridden. And... Um, my teacher, who was her mentor and, uh, of course, who missed her most of her, almost twice life length after her death, since I met her in her 80s, and always remembered Lily about her studio, student years, how she was studying and how she was playing the harp and how she was composing, and Nadia was sort of like her older teacher, Mademoiselle Boulanger, rather, should I say since that's how we called her and um, though she was her older sister and she lived to become the greatest teacher for most of the composers of the 20th century Nadia Boulanger may, I mean um, she did not oblige her students at least me as her last disciple to play her sister's music by some kind of a obligation or no it had to be by choice and that's why by choice I want today to mark the 100th anniversary of her passing. And because by choice her music is meaningful, this is the theme and variations which she wrote on her way to the um, Villa Medici in Rome when she was the first woman awarded the Rome Prize of Composition. To put it lightly or simply, in comparison, it would be like some kind of Academy Award for composition, competition which was awarded after competition by the French um, Ministry of Culture and the French um, Academy of Fine Arts. And um, the Villa Medici, as a French possession in Rome, was uh, where the recipients of this prize of many arts forms what to stay for two years and create music, make sculptures, and um, inspire themselves from the antiquities of Rome. And so, and meanwhile, they got commissions and so on. So, Lily Boulanger uh, won this in 1913, just before World War I started. And uh, she wrote these theme and variations under the supervision of Mademoiselle Nadia Boulanger, since they used to call them the Boulanger sisters at that time, until her, therefore, untimely death 100 years ago today, March 15th.
driven and brooding variation is sister Mademoiselle Nadia Boulanger was studying with Fauré and um, I'm sure that this connection brought her even if she had her own teachers from the conservatory in Paris who were not Fauré as Gédalge and others but that uh, tradition is uh, embedded while her mother was Russian Raisa Michetsky and um, she embraced, in a way, both Slavic and French cultures as her older sister Nadia did until she died in 1979. With the memory of her sister in her and um, the music of her sister, there is um, a beautiful nocturne for piano and violin atmosphere that is so unique to her music and um, it's almost enchanting moment like you feel like I've heard that somewhere as if um, it's uh, not sounds familiar but soothes and at the same time it does feel like responding to some expectation for wellness and hope and at the same time pain and trigger of, uh, of um, dissonances. She had her unique way of being mortal and tonal. Debussy was like that too and he died only 10 years, what would I say, 10 days after Lily on March 25th, 1918. Of course quite older than her. But for the students of Mademoiselle Nadia Boulanger, we have all gathered to know about Lily, mostly because of this ritual mass on March 15th, where we would uh, also hear a piece by Nadia Boulanger called Lux Eterna, which Nadia Boulanger juxtaposed to the P.A.S. which I played, or just displayed for you earlier. 